Hi, I'm Justin Kay, Field Specialist in Horticulture for University of Missouri Extension. I'm going to talk today about handling flooded produce and some of the most frequently asked questions that we receive about this issue. This video will be one of a four-part series about this topic. It's important to consider the applicable rules and guidelines as it relates to flooded produce. FDA considers flooded produce adulterated foods. FDA does give clear guidance on some questions related to flooded produce. Guidance is less clear on other questions. The National Organic Program, as well as good agricultural practices, also have rules related to flooded produce. Be sure to consult with your extension agent, organic certifier, or GAPS auditor if you need further guidance. Dealing with the aftermath of a flood can be extremely challenging for growers. In addition to dealing with the mess that it made in your field, there's also considerations related as to whether it's legal to sell the produce that has been flooded. Does flooded produce have to be discarded? Yes, if the edible portion has come into contact with floodwaters, the produce must be discarded due to the risk of not only microbial pathogens, but also chemical contaminants in the floodwater. My field of carrots, potatoes, or parsnips is still young and several months from harvest. Can I sell the crop? The answer is no. The FDA is clear that any edible portion of a crop that comes into contact with flood water may not be sold, even if it's weeks or months from harvest. There's evidence that both potatoes and carrots can uptake pathogens into their plant tissue. I had a planting of leafy greens that did not germinate before the flood, but now that the waters have receded, it has emerged and it looks great. Can I sell it? Unfortunately, the answer is no. This is very high risk. As the leaves grow, they will come into contact with flooded soil and could get contaminated with both soil-borne chemical and or microbial contaminants, such as disease-causing organisms like E. coli and salmonella. Can I peel and or cook flooded produce, particularly root crops, and then sell it? The answer is no. Although peeling and cooking could greatly reduce microbial load, this is still considered adulterated produce by the FDA and not allowed for sale. Unfortunately, both chemical and biological contamination can occur from floodwaters, and there is no way to ensure that this will not pass on to the consumer. There is a lot of water standing on my field after the storm, but it was just rainwater. It didn't come from a river stream or other surface water. Can I sell my produce? The short answer is yes. Pooled water from rainwater alone isn't considered to be flood water. However, if there's evidence of contamination due to significant runoff from an adjacent area where livestock manure or compost has been kept, then the produce may be contaminated if it was in contact with this water and should not be sold for human consumption. My crop was flooded, but I have it tested for bacteria after treating it with a chlorine sanitizer, and the results show it is not contaminated. Is it legal to sell? Unfortunately, the answer to this is also no. Neither post-harvest cleansing of flooded crops nor testing of flooded produce is accepted by the FDA as a means of ensuring the safety of flooded produce for human consumption. Sanitizer may be effective in some circumstances of reducing pathogens and microbial load, but unknown chemicals could be present in the flood water and unfortunately, produce can be chemically contaminated as well. I have a buyer that says if I provide a test showing my produce is free from E. coli, he will purchase it. Can I sell it to him? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Both produce growers and buyers must follow the law. E. coli is one of many potential contaminants that could be on flooded produce. As mentioned earlier, both microbial and chemical contaminants could be present. Can flooded produce be fed to livestock? Unfortunately, the answer to this is also no. Things upstream from the farm, such as livestock, sewage treatment plants, industrial plants, and other hazardous waste sites, mean that floodwaters will almost certainly contain contaminants which can stay on the produce, and this can harm livestock health if consumed. The FDA is also concerned about residues from some contaminants being transferred to animal products for human consumption. 
Check out the full resource on this topic with the link below, and it's also in the YouTube video description. If you have further questions, feel free to reach out to Justin at justin.k at missouri.edu.